for me that you guys understand the mechanics and you trust your repels because you have to be able to trust your technique. Hey, Jenny, keep that back up, please. So, uh, does anybody have any questions? Or is anybody having a hard time with this? If you are, remember, somebody else also is. So, do you have any questions? Yes. Um, I just, I don't think I understand, because uh, I'm crossing my feet, I have the elbow up here, but I'm not widening my knees. I feel like you like pointed out that I'm pinching like. Yes, okay, come over here and I'll let you feel. The thing you gotta understand is there's a fundamental rule that you have to go by, is that for all months you gotta be able to control the head, okay? And you have to be aware whether their arms are both inside of your legs, so you can lock your feet, basically. We have to, but you're controlling their far shoulder, so you can use the, your hips, okay, to control their upper body, so that the arm can extend, and so that your legs are controlling the, their upper body, so that it keeps them flat, because if you roll back, they're gonna be able to stack you, okay? So from here, what I want, there's two potential scenarios here. Both arms will be in, because he's gonna defend. So see how he's already defending? I pulled his back this way right here. Can you? remove your arm from my lapel and as I pull this way look see you probably want to defend it right defend it. yeah right there look so I go here and I scoop his head here and I see both arms are in okay look I don't need my hand here and I'm gonna lock on this kind of under his shoulder my legs are longer yes but I take the body foot okay because it works much better than, than this I got to get way more torque here my toes are back I pull his shoulder in and I'm gonna open my knees right here, okay? Instead of doing this. This doesn't do me any good. I don't need this. I need this and this because my hip is under his shoulder and it creates a lot of torque right here. Do you kind of feel that? So if I'm here, this is knee pinching. This is spurring your heels. There's a huge difference. I don't need to do this because his head can turn, okay? When I open my knees, can you turn your head? No. Exactly. When they can turn their head for a conventional arm lock, okay? You're here and you're taught to pinch right here. Let's see him going here. He can turn his head to the left and he can do that whole hitchhiker where he waves goodbye here and he rolls to his knees and then he gets up, okay? Even when you don't have the lapel and both arms are in, I wanna open my knees so I can control his head, but here, I'm gonna feed it through because now I'm gonna lean back. And I know this lapel is not gonna break here, but I'm controlling his head from being able to move. So it's very difficult for him to turn away. If I were like this, see that? See because my, my feet are up and he can rock me. I don't need my feet up. What, what is the purpose, if you think about it, of your feet off the mat? If I'm here, he can begin to rock and get his legs on there, catch my feet with your, yeah, right there. See how he even kind of got out of it? Kind of, even though I still have his arm. But I'm here. The head leg on the shoulder, the body leg over, and I'm spurring and I'm hooking. And my knees are open, okay? As I'm leaning back here, and I'm gonna grab my lapel with my left hand, and I'm gonna begin to saw his arm. There you go. As an unfold. Does that make sense? Yes. Try. The detail was, I had the wrong foot across. The body foot, yes. Cause you'll, you'll, here you go. Here, he gets that right hand looped. Okay, he's a, I grab it, he pulls it back. Oh, well, yes, and I'm from here. I have to defend this now. Just sit back, take your yeah, look, scoop my head and sit back. Look, my arms come in. You don't, don't even use your hand, extend your leg and lock the feet. And now open your knees. Yeah, that's it. Now lean back. Look at the torque. Don't use your hand, just lean back. Lean back. Ooh, that's horrible. I don't really feel it. I mean, I don't usually feel it, but go with that. Look, lean back and feel this right here. And just lock it, but see this right here? Open your knees, open your knees, open your knees. Yeah. See how, when you do that, when you open the knees, see how much torque it gives? Now bring your right hand all the way to your hip. Yes, and I just lean back, but I want this and spur my shoulders. Yes, oh, that's horrible. You kind of feel that? Yes, good. All right, any other questions? Jeff, yes. Uh, why do you, like, when you're coming from S now, why do you sit back first, then go down instead of going straight down? 
explaining it. Um, why am I leaning back? No, why do you sit like sit down with the arm here? Uh huh. Then lean back for the arm bar. Because it's a horrible habit to lean back before you secure the arm. That's how you lose arm bars. Okay. You have to be able to get around. Come here. To secure properly an arm bar, you have to think you're sliding like down, like a flat pole or, or like a fireman's pole, and then you lean back. That's where my torque is. Because what happens here oftentimes is, is that people do this. This right here, and then they're back. And all this is is arms. They have that. I want to. When I do arm locks, I do this. Send your arm. Or else they'll take it. There you go. Okay, go here, and I'm here. Okay? Why? Because you know what finishes the arm? It's not my arms, it's my body. Okay? My upper body right there that finishes the arm lock. When you're taught incorrectly, and bad habits aren't corrected, as was the case with me. This is the way that people do arm bars. Look at this. Number one, you have no control. Number two, this is not gonna finish. Number three, you're gonna hurt your partner. Versus having full body control. Here, send your arm. Look, I'm here. Look, here. I'm here. Right there. I can begin to manipulate this. With what my body, I'm not sitting here going, pulling with my arms. This ain't your arm. Look, this, this is all arm. And here, it's even worse. I can't even reach it. <laughs> but here, it's all body. But body, attached to my body, I can begin to finish with my upper body. That's how you finish arm bar. Okay, any questions? No. Okay, good. All right, let's move on. All of them.